7500s generator that we're going to fix today this is not working but before that if you haven't subscribed with our channel please kindly click subscribe now and uh, for you to notify about our upcoming videos all right so no further ado let's begin the troubleshooting all right guys so I got here right now um, this generator SD7500 so um, the last time they have used this was like seven months ago but when they tried to uh, use it today because they lost the power fortunately it went turn on it didn't work though the battery as you can see still new now we're going to open first this one because we want to check whether there's something stuck inside of this generator and uh, if we really need to you know to change or replace parts of this okay so let's begin opening this first let's select all right guys so uh, we're able to open the uh, the side part of this machine of this generator and what I'm going to do right now what we're going to do right now is I'm trying to um, manually start it because um, there is actually a designed function of this one or feature that you can still manually um, start I just need to push the switch here on the top and then push it down and then pull the rope pull the rope here uh, to ignite the, uh, the starter to restart the machine but uh, it still uh, didn't work so now we're going to uh, try to open the uh, the other side where we can find um, we can find uh, the starter. So we can check the starter since it's been uh, seven months, according to the owner, that they haven't used this. So maybe there's already corrosion or rust inside of that starter, which is commonly happening. Uh, with this kind of uh, uh, equipment All right. so we're using the wrench number 10 here um, if you have these tools then you can uh, uh, easily open the side of this okay. so bear with us okay while we're, we're trying to open the side of this um, and generate well it's, this is very useful if uh, you get or experience a power outage in your location and uh, it's important for us of course not to lose the, the connection because commonly once we lose the power um, automatically the internet won't work all right there you go so there you go here's the starter okay and there is the um, ignition coil there so that, that is probably the problem but we can still do a manual start with this one we're gonna just try to short um, the bottom part of uh, the starter here there you go these two you just need to short that too then um, simultaneously turn it on I mean uh, turn the switch on uh, in front of this machine and uh, let's see if it will work 
So we're doing it manually uh, to do it simultaneously with the, the switch and the pattern. Okay. It's not really working. So it's still a lot of working. As you can as you heard, we're trying to do it manually. There you go. It's still Alright, so maybe what we're going to do right now is uh, we're gonna talk to remove uh, the starter okay that is just here inside of this uh, to see if it's uh, corroded inside and if it's corroded inside it's more easier for us to fix we just need to remove it we need to, we just need to separate it from the uh, solenoid ignition alright so this is the location of the Solenoid is starter, we need to remove it. So first um we'll be needing a I think it's a crescent wrench number thirteen if I'm not mistaken. So we just need to uh, loosen these two um parts here. Alright guys, so I was able to pull out these parts from the generator um expecting outside as you can see. Um, there is no any sign of dirt or rust, but we didn't know what's really inside of this. Why? Why it's not working? Because if there's rust or corrosion inside of this thing, then probably that's the reason why it won't work. It won't start. So uh, let's try to open to see what uh, is inside of this. All right. So well, we're going to remove first the two nuts on the. On the lower lower part of this um, solenoid, um, I think we just need to remove it first. So after removing this, as you can see, and as you can see in the other video, I'm now using my um, soldering iron and a solder pole to remove the joint section or part. So uh, we need to remove that part also. It is um, directly joined with uh, the with the battery ground, so you will be needing like a soldering iron. Okay, so uh, that is needed because uh, if you didn't if you didn't have a soldering iron, then you cannot remove uh, the joint parts of this one. It's uh, fixed, totally fixed. Um, by uh, lead so as you can see there um, need to don't push my uh, soldering iron um. all right guys so I was able to uh, separate the two parts so uh, here in, in the middle part you just need to use the slim or the metal this metal um, just push through and then it will uh, separate from the metal um, part so there you go as you can see as I mentioned to you earlier guys we cannot really tell what inside of this without opening it first so it's full of rust and this is the reason why it won't work so even it has a voltage coming from the battery it will go on to transmit or transfer that voltage to the other side because of this rust so what we're gonna do uh, we need to have maybe like a steel brush or paldalia like that to remove the rust or we could on also use um, anti-rust fluid or liquid alright so I'll look now for that one here Alright, here we go. So I'm sorry guys, I don't have the uh, um, steel brush with me right now. So I just use a very thin metal uh, thing okay, to, to remove the dust and the rust. And I'm also, I also have here the WD-40, it's anti-rust liquid. 
okay so for sure it would also be as um, useful it would be very useful in this kind of uh, thing so we're gonna try to speed up right the cleaning on the way right now a more speed is needed I think it's all good now so as you can see all cleans then we're gonna put back everything including the knots and then um, we need to solder it as well solder it back for, for the two metals to join together again and after this we need to check where our multi-tester be if we have digital that can we can use also all right so if, if everything is good now uh, then we will put this back, install it back to the machine itself. Okay, that we can check whether it's all good. All right, so I think. All right, so we're back, and we're going to install the solenoid the starter here and please don't forget to put back everything like the cables wires and the socket so i will try to speed up uh, speed up this a bit okay so because after this we're going to try if it will work Don't forget to put uh, the knobs also in the, screw the, the screws. We're also avoiding uh, getting uh, short circuits with the, the body of uh, the starter as well as the wires. Right, so right after this we're going to try it. Alright, so we're almost done. Okay. We're done now. Okay, we're going to test, guys. Ready? Set, go! Alright. Congratulations. 